All right, so today we want to discuss Forbes' new article, and it's listed Detroit as the number one market for affordability when you compare rent versus purchase price. So this article references at a 6.5% interest rate with 5% down on a property with the average sale price in the city of Detroit versus what it takes to rent in the city of Detroit. And we're number one in the country in terms of affordability for those things. So it makes more sense to buy than to rent. And what I want you to take away from this video is it almost always makes sense to buy instead of rent. So Anthony, talk about what is a reason, even whether you're the number one or you're last in the, the country, why do you want to buy a property instead of rent one? Well, I think it starts, Joe, most simplistically with the idea that um, you're a homeowner. First and foremost, you have an asset. You have something that is the core foundation for starting generational wealth for your family. Uh, when you're renting, you know what you're also doing? You're providing that service for somebody else's family. Um, you're not able to leverage off that, refinance. What happens if something occurs in your life, you accrue some debt, you'd like to clear debt to then make another move for your family's you know, wealth creation. And so therefore you're kind of in a process where you're stuck if you're renting. You also have zero control over the market. You have yeah. zero control over um, the year over year rental increases that occur. To be honest with you, when somebody owns a rental property, they're also attaching that to a business formula. Their interest in owning that property is to net profit. When you own your home, you control your own destiny, you control your mortgage, you control your cost of living to an extent, and then you're able to leverage off that asset. Yeah, so it's, it's slightly different. Like it takes you from being in the passenger seat of your life to the driver's seat of your life, right? Because when you own your own property, the one thing you've done for you and your family is you've locked in your cost of living. Groceries might go up, gas might go up, all these other things might go up. But the one thing that's not gonna go up, what it costs you to be in your house. Whereas if you're a tenant and your lease is expiring, guess what happens? Rent goes up. I own seven properties. Guess what happens? Rent goes up, right? So for all of our tenants, rent goes up and they pay down our mortgage. Well, why do that? Why not buy your own property and, and pay down your own debt and pay down your own mortgage versus paying someone else's? Because you're paying a mortgage either way, right? You're either paying your mortgage or you're paying your landlord's mortgage. You just get to pick. And I think the most important thing that the consumer and people should understand if you're renting right now, you're paying someone's mortgage and you're also not in the driver's seat of your own life. Everything else can go up, but the one thing that won't is what your principal interest in taxes and insurance. Now people will come back and they'll say, oh, well, your taxes can go up. But one of the really cool things in the state of Michigan is your taxes are actually capped. So it only can go up 8% per year. Your interest isn't going to go up. Your principal isn't going to go up. Your taxes can only increase 8% per year. And guess what? If the market tanks, all that's done is reduce your taxes, established a new floor that then only can go up 8% per year. And yes, your insurance can vary slightly. But the truth is most insurance doesn't actually go up. It just expense creeps. So if you shop that consistently, you'll actually get your insurance right back down. So anything we missed? I think just the other thing to really hit home with is when you buy a home historically over as long as records have been essentially created and, and maintained, what happens to the home value? It increases over time. Yeah. So you're always in a money making situation, whereas when you're renting, you're always trying to catch up and redetermine and reestablish what you can afford. And at times, you're also going to get moved out of the locale that you may want to live in and have to then figure out where you and your family are going to go. Is there a, go a good school system there? Uh, there's just a lot of factors that renting, like you said, the whole process, there's no control over it. Yeah. You're no longer in the driver's seat. Someone else is driving your life. Yeah. So if you buy a house, you eliminate variables. I think that's at the end of the day, what it does for you it takes you from the passenger seat of your life to the driver's seat. Is that fair to say? Correct. I would agree hundred percent. All right. Well, if you want that Forbes article, just message us and we'll get you on our Monday morning coffee goes out every Monday. We deliver actionable content just like this. Appreciate you. Thank you.